Hello global citizens and welcome to today's intriguing update on de-dollarization and counter moves put in place to ensure the dollar stays as the world's global reserve currency following Trump's warning to India, China and other countries planning on increasing the use of local currencies. Could Trump's re-election serve as a booster to this plan coming to reality and will India, China and other countries carrying cross-border transactions heed to these warnings coming from Trump and the US? Sit right there and do not move an inch. Relax. Fasten your seatbelts as we get you down this path in the next couple of minutes. Advisors to the former U.S. president are considering penalties for nations seeking to trade in national currencies, the outlet has reported, see, Mark Peterson pool slash Getty Images. Economic aides to former U.S. President Donald Trump are looking for options to stop countries from shifting away from the U.S. dollar as it faces a growing challenge from emerging markets, including BRICS nations, Bloomberg reported on Friday. The presumptive Republican nominee for the November presidential election and his team are discussing penalties against both allies and adversaries who seek to divert their trade from the greenback to other currencies. The options could include export controls, currency manipulation charges, and tariffs, the outlet said, citing people familiar with the matter. The global trend toward using national currencies in trade instead of the dollar gained significant momentum after Russia was cut off from the Western financial system and had its foreign reserves frozen in 2022 as part of Ukraine-related sanctions. As quoted by Bloomberg, Trump warned on Thursday that with U.S. President Joe Biden, you're going to lose the dollar as the standard. That'll be like losing the biggest war we've ever lost. According to the news agency, Trump's economic advisors and his campaign team have specifically considered curbing de-dollarization efforts by BRICS countries. The group, which recently expanded and now comprises Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Ethiopia, Iran, Egypt, is boosting the use of national currencies in mutual trade. It has even signaled the possibility of introducing a new single currency in the coming years. Trump has repeatedly said that he wants the dollar to remain the world's reserve currency. I hate when countries go off the dollar, Trump told Consumer News and Business Channel CNBC in March. I would not allow countries to go off the dollar because when we lose that standard, that will be like losing a revolutionary war, he said, adding that it would be a hit for the US. But what is de-dollarization and what does it mean for countries moving away from the dollar should it happen? De-dollarization is a term that has relatively been unfamiliar until the early 21st century and refers to the gradual move away from the US dollar as the global reserve currency. The term encapsulates the efforts of several nations aiming to reduce their dependence on the dollar for international trade and financial transactions. Simultaneously, it involves a shift towards other currencies or the creation of new payment mechanisms independent of the dollar. The journey of de-dollarization offers a variety of implications for different nations, with India's role in the global currency trade taking a unique stance. The US dollar's status as the world's primary reserve currency can be traced back to the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944, which established a fixed exchange rate regime with the dollar pegged to gold. However, this system collapsed in the early 1970s, leading to the adoption of a floating exchange rate system and the dollar's continued dominance as the international currency of choice. Over the years, the dollar's pivotal role in global trade and finance has provided the United States with unparalleled economic and geopolitical advantages. In recent times, however, global economic dynamics have been shifting. Economic powerhouses like China and India, along with other emerging economies, have been gradually challenging the established order. These countries have sought to diversify their reserves, protect themselves from external shocks, and reduce their exposure to the potential vulnerabilities associated with the dollar-centric financial system. For India, the pursuit of de-dollarization is not merely an economic objective but also a strategic one. As the world's second most populous country and a growing economic powerhouse, India seeks to assert its presence on the global stage. By embracing de-dollarization, India aims to bolster its economic sovereignty, reduce its vulnerability to external market fluctuations, and foster more balanced and equitable economic relations with other nations. Moreover, India's vast consumer base and burgeoning middle class provide a significant impetus for the country to increase its trade volumes and diversify its trading partners. De-dollarization allows India to conduct international trade in its local currency, the Indian rupee thereby mitigating the risks associated with exchange rate fluctuations and enhancing its ability to negotiate favorable trade deals. As a member of the BRICS group of nations, which collectively represents about 42% of the world's population and a significant portion of global GDP, India has been actively engaging in efforts to challenge traditional financial architecture.
The BRICS bloc has established institutions like the New Development Bank NDB and the Contingent Reserve Arrangement CRA to provide financial support for member countries and foster cooperation outside the Western-dominated financial system. In this evolving global economic landscape, India's role in de-dollarization is more than just an economic endeavor. It is a demonstration of the nation's ambition to shape its destiny and contribute to a more inclusive and multipolar world order. As India forges ahead on this path, it must navigate the challenges that come with reducing dollar dependency while capitalizing on the opportunities to strengthen its position as a key player in the global currency trade. But why were the shots aimed at India? India, the world's fifth-largest economy, is a key player in the process of de-dollarization. While the US dollar remains dominant, the use of other currencies like the euro, the Japanese yen, and the Chinese renminbi has been on the rise, along with the Indian rupee. De-dollarization has brought about an increase in trade denominated in local currencies, including the Indian rupee. This development has given India more leeway in setting monetary policy and protecting its economy from external shocks. For instance, trading in local currencies reduces the risk of currency exchange rate fluctuations, safeguarding Indian exporters and importers from such risks. Additionally, as a critical player in the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa nations, India's role in de-dollarization has also increased through the formation of multilateral institutions like the New Development Bank NDB, which seeks to challenge the Western-dominated World Bank and International Monetary Fund. India's active participation in the process of de-dollarization has yielded significant economic and geopolitical impacts, shaping its role in the global currency trade. One of the primary benefits of de-dollarization for India is enhanced economic stability and reduced exposure to external shocks. By promoting trade in local currencies, India has reduced its reliance on the US dollar, which historically has been prone to volatility. This shift in trade dynamics has provided greater stability to Indian exporters and importers, shielding them from abrupt currency fluctuations that can negatively impact business operations and profits. Moreover, reduced exposure to dollar fluctuations has allowed India to have more autonomy in setting its monetary policy, contributing to better control over inflation and overall economic stability. Additionally, de-dollarization has enabled India to strengthen its economic ties with countries facing U.S. sanctions. For instance, during periods of strained relations between the U.S. and Russia, India's willingness to conduct trade with Russia in rubles further solidified their economic partnership. Such actions not only showcase India's stance on promoting multilateralism, but also demonstrate its willingness to resist undue external pressure in economic matters. Furthermore, as an integral member of the BRICS nations, India's role in de-dollarization is instrumental in establishing alternative financial institutions. With the way things are going, we might find both the US and these countries seeking de-dollarization standing firm at each other's necks unwilling to succumb owing to the advantages they stand to enjoy if they succeed in their plans. Here is where we wrap things for today. Thanks for stopping by and hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share and subscribe. Goodbye for the time being.